Hi darlings, it's Robin here. Thanks for joining Oracle Rising today. Namaste everybody, sending you uh, love and light, peace and blessings. So I have some easy at home magical things for you to do to uh, manifest into your life. And magic isn't all about, you know, being, <laughs> wearing a cloak, <laughs> stirring a cauldron. It's really easy to do. And um, if you are really just not into magic at all, I want you to think about the last time you blew out a candle on your birthday cake and possibly made a wish because that's magic too. So uh, magic is for everybody. All right. So I'm going to give you some, I guess, little spells that are really easy to do and, and some of them are really fun. So the first one I have for you guys, if you're manifesting love, is to bake an apple pie. You can cheat and go get one from the grocery store. You don't have to make one from scratch. That's okay, unless you really want to. And remember to send me a slice because apple pie is my favorite. <laughs> so cooling an apple pie on a windowsill or by a window will help you to manifest love. So it really does help to set your intention when you're doing something like that, you know. Um, you can just say that I'm manifesting love as you put the pie down and you can inhale it and let it cool down. And then if you're anything like me, you'd probably eat the whole thing afterwards. So <laughs> let me know if you've tried that one, you guys. All I do with apple pies is tend to eat them, which is why I never have them in my home. <laughs> Does anybody else have a really big weakness for any dessert? <laughs> I'm a dessert hound, okay? So um, let's see, removing obstacles, which I talk about quite a bit, any obstacle, okay? If you're having any blockage, you can get a statue of Ganesh or a picture and put it somewhere in your home. And you can bless it, you know, with your own words. You can put your hand on it and say, please help me to remove whatever obstacle. If you're having a hard time finding a job or again, with um, a blockage for love, you can combine any of these things too. You're not just limited to doing one. So keep that in mind. Uh, Ganesh, you could you could find that. I guess my go-to is uh, guilty as charged. I go to Amazon quite a bit because it's just so easy, but you could find a shop, you know, it's be really fun for you to go out shopping and find something like that. Um, okay, so for transformation, this is when you are going possibly through like a dark night of the soul or, you know, you're in hermit mode and you'd like to come out of it. Just any sort of, you want to move from one level of your life to another, okay? Um, maybe from one timeline to another. And I've talked about that before in, in my videos. So an image or a statue of a butterfly. You know what else would work really well is like a beautiful piece of jewelry. If you want to go so far as getting a tattoo put on your body, that would be really cool. And I like to put my hands on things and speak to things, you know. You can speak things into your life and gazing at something with the intention. What you could also do is write down your intention um, and place it beside or underneath or, you know, just really keep your intentions high. There is something else that I was just reading about too, because I was talking about this with my friend Enrique. We were talking about um, Tesla's method of manifestation. <clears throat> so you could try this in combination with that. So if you've ever heard of the magic of the numbers three, six, and nine, there's a really big power behind that. And I, I want to recommend researching that. Again, you could just go on YouTube and look at what Tesla has done to manifest things into his life. But I just found this method out. It's amazing what you just stumble upon, you know, and I this, my friend talked to me about it, so I did a little bit of research. So I'm bringing this in unintentionally. I've got a cough here, guys. I'm really sorry. So anyway, what you do is take a little notepad. And here's mine here. I just happen to have it beside. I'm not going to show you guys what I'm writing. But I have a little notepad. So what you're supposed to do, and I've already done this this morning, is you write out your intention, what you're trying to manifest, three times in the morning, six times at midday and then nine times in the evening. So I'm gonna give that a shot. That's a brand new technique for me. But combining methods, like why wouldn't you, right? So anyway, maybe give that a, a little try as well. <clears throat> so eliminating negativity in your life, 
this one is really interesting. So I would boil water. It just says to add salt and lemon in water, but you got to release things, right? So, and it's, it's also going to put a nice smell in your house too. So anyway, take a cup, maybe cut a lemon slice into it or more, put a dash of salt, boil water, pour it over top of it. Do not drink it. I mean, honestly, you can if you want to, but it sounds disgusting. And then that should help you to release negativity. So something about water too. <clears throat> if you have a cup and you speak things into the water, that can help you manifest as well, okay? So again, I wouldn't drink this, but you can put your hands on it and speak whatever it is that you want to eliminate that is negative in your life. Like if you wanna talk about a negative bank balance or a negative person or a negative situation, I find this is such an easy thing to do. I mean, you can just grab a lemon while you're out buying an apple pie. <laughs> shopping for a Ganesh statue, getting your butterfly tattoo, <laughs> make it a day. <laughs> and then try this lemon and salt water. Uh, I'm going to actually give that a shot too, because I have a really negative neighbor, neighbors, right? Am I right? There's always got to be one. <clears throat> so manifesting wealth, and this one is super easy. So while you're out grabbing your lemon and your apple pie, um, make sure you buy some oranges, okay? And then you can place them in a bowl. And then this is supposed to help you manifest money, unexpected money, large subs of money, whatever, like massive wealth. So give that a try. You might wanna also look at Feng Shui because there's certain places um, that you can place things in your home to amplify the magic on them, okay? So um, I did a video a little while ago about Feng Shui for manifesting, and I can't remember the exact corner where you're supposed to um, put the oranges but anyway you can just look that up quickly uh, there's also another technique is putting three coins together and this is also Chinese feng shui so you might want to look that up and I believe that goes up over a doorway but I talked about that in the feng, feng shui video and I'm totally drawing a blank of course because I'm recording so this is the last one here is something that I really love to do. This is journaling your goals and read them under a full moon. So you can incorporate the 369 writing method, use that as your journal and go read that. Or you can just take whatever it is, your dear diary, I wish, blah, 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 I want, you know, I need, I have is always a good way or I am, you know, um, in your statements, okay? so. Some people think that saying I need or I want is speaking lack into the into the universe, but I'm not really on board with that one because it just it's such a negative way of um, thinking. OK, so I, I try to just stay positive. And if you find yourself in that conundrum where you find yourself saying, oh, I really want this or I really need this and then somebody says to you oh you shouldn't say that it's the wrong way to manifest i really just don't believe that okay because then you're catching yourself and correcting yourself and maybe feeling like you did something naughty so really just use statements that are powerful for you to set your desire and for those of you that turn into a pumpkin early in the evening like i do like i'm usually in bed by nine o'clock because i get up at five um the full moon, you don't have to be out there at nighttime. It's there in the morning. It's there all day. So don't think that you have to be like boiling your cauldron in the backyard um, and reading your journals out there. Uh, you could also combine that with charged full moon water. Okay, so these are such simple ways of using your own personal personal magic and putting them into some talis talismans here like the Ganesh or the butterfly and just like really observing these things. And I like to keep things in full view for myself. And this is something that you can try too, because you'll remember, like you'll just look at it and go, okay, I am manifesting that. Um, sometimes results are not instantaneous. So really be patient with yourself. And just like any other habit that you'd have to really just keep on doing it on a consistent basis, okay? Consistency is super important. Um, and just keep trying these things, you know? So especially the journaling one, I wouldn't recommend eating an apple pie on a regular basis, even though it is delicious. But anyway, guys, I really hope these help. And I'm gonna give this lemon and salt in water a shot myself because I, I seem to have like a streak of bad luck going on here. 
and there's got to be something going on um, personally for me. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just uh, really appreciate all the subscribes. And guys, if you're going to comment, please comment on the video so that um, get a little more traction on them. Okay, so anyway, guys, I'll see you around. See you around the way. Bye.